Hey guys, we're back with another video. <clears throat> I've got a 132nd ounce freestyle jig head here. That is uh, Yala Chartreuse. So let's go ahead and get us some thread laid down. We're just going to tie it back to the hook tip. Go ahead and cut it. <clears throat> get some Sally Hanson out here. And go right over those threads. We've got too much on. And I have got some White River. This is fluorescent yellow marabou. We're going to be using on this one. And I want it hanging over about like that, I believe. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it four or five good tight wraps to get it locked in. behind the head and go ahead and cut off that excess marabou. <clears throat> I'm going to take my thumbnail and just mash that down around that hook shank a little bit. Guys, I've got pink paint on me. I've been painting up some jig heads. Let's go ahead and get this tied up to the head. <clears throat> I've started, I've got them in the oven. I have started baking my I'm just going to go back down and back up just to clean some of that fuzz up a little bit. Uh, I have started baking my jig heads off again. I bake them at uh, 350 for 10 minutes. From what I can tell, that's what most people does. Uh, let me get my marabou hung back up. Uh, so I believe we are going to put us a couple of pieces of this. Uh, this is called uh, holographic yellow flashaboo. Uh, it doesn't really look yellow to me. It looks gold. But, but what we're tying or uh, what we're using for our body, it's got some gold in it too. So that's why I'm putting this in it. Plus it'll give us a little extra flash. I'm trying to get it as even as I can. And we'll just lay it right down on top of the hook. I want that to come back just past the end of the hole. Oh Lord, that come way back. Let me pull that back through a little bit. There we go. Now we'll just give it a few wraps. Just this extra limp flashaboo is really kind of got a mind of its own. So we'll just take this and pull it back as well, right on top of the hook, and tie it right back to the bottom. off that excess. I'm going to lay that aside. I can use that on something else. And we have got some more of this material. This is the small. Uh, it's not going to be as long as the, as the other I've been using. This is a smaller jig head and I just thought the small might look a little better. I don't know. I've not tried the small yet. So we'll get it out, unroll a little bit of it, <clears throat> it's still pretty long, there's my jig heads are done, I'm going to go down with those threads again with some Sally Hanson. lay it right down on top of the hook, and we will tie it up to the head. back out of the way. Loosen our vise and we will start wrapping this up. You want the thread touching on this. I don't want to see any of that yellow thread through my material. 
know if this will do like the large does or not. It kind of lays back once it gets wet. I'm just going to go ahead and come right in behind this about three times. And I'm going to take and pull this back. I tell you, let me go ahead and cut that off first. It'll be easier to pull back once I do that. Okay. Hope it will. And I'm just going to make sure, try to make sure that I get in behind all those fibers. Okay. Put a little Sally Hansen there on the thread. And we will get ready to do our whip finish. five times as usual. Pull it tight and cut our thread. Now let's get it out. You can see how that lays. It lays back pretty good. Let me go ahead and get it up here and see if I need to do anything else to it. I did pinch little bit of that fiber under the I'm just going to take my exacto knife I don't want to cut it deep enough till it cuts my paint but we'll just enough to get the cut that material guys there we go uh, I noticed I've been holding my jigs so close to the camera it wasn't focusing on it there it is. Let's go ahead and get it in some water here. Let's check all that water off of it. And right there we go. Not too bad. And I'm probably going to be a time saver left with this material. Like I said, I do like it. I like it better than the chenille, really. But uh, we'll tie it up with this a little bit till I get tired of it, and then we'll do something else. Uh, guys, like always, I appreciate you watching these videos. Uh, I appreciate all the new subscribers. Uh, our channel's growing pretty good. Uh, I think we're up over. I think it's up over 450 now. Uh, not far from 500. We'll, we'll get there maybe. But uh, if you like the video, just go ahead and hit that like button. Give it the thumbs up. Uh, helps our channel, our videos get shown more. Uh, the more likes it gets. Uh, and uh, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, and we'll catch you guys next time.